<laughs> Work it! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Today, I'm here with Ryan again. Uh, you would have already seen him in the Whisper Challenge that we did. Uh, it was really funny. If you haven't seen it already, I will link it somewhere. Um, but we did the Whisper Challenge, but emo edition. Yeah, it was good. It was really good. So today, we're going to continue with the emo theme, and I'm going to turn him into an emo Dreambow. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's like a himbo, but emo. Is that trademark? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do some dead boy glam on him. And uh, yeah, and that's it. That's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a great time. Okay, so we're just gonna do a little tinted moisturizer that's just a little bit more fair than what he is. Give him a little bit more of a sickly look to him. <laughs> we love a sickly boy. Oh yeah. Didn't we all grow up having crushes on sickly boys? I think uh, someone very close to me said that their taste in men was uh, walking cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't me. No. no! Who was your first emo crush? You know, I think it's it's kind of it's not boring because she's fantastic, but I think Haley Williams because she was the first like real like edgy girl. It was yeah. like the orange hair, and I was like, oh my god, <gasps> like it's it, I, I was too young for like Avril Lavigne to be my first crush because uh -huh. like there was definitely like a gap there, but I was not closer in age to Haley, but like. A little, I think, like, felt a little closer. It felt closer. Yeah. Like, it was more relatable for sure. Yeah. Haley Williams deserves the first emo crush, though. I do. Were you ever into lights? Not firsthand. Uh -huh. Very much like a lot of friends were into lights and just like in the car or like at their houses. I listened to a lot of lights. Yeah. I didn't listen to her, but she just always came up on my Tumblr. And so I was just obsessed with her. Like, oh. <laughs> What a time. Who was your first emo crush? Come on. You know. I want you to say it. Out loud. A vampire. Obviously, Gerard Way. I just remember I was in seventh grade, so before I was even emo, and I was watching VH1 Top 20 Music Video Countdown after school, and Helena came on, and I remember just being legit, like, mesmerized by Gerard Way in that, and the whole music video I was just like, Oh my god, he looks like a ghost. Why am I so attracted to him? Like, what's going on with my body? And I remember, I shit you not, I literally, like, watched it and then went downstairs to my computer and watched it, like, eight more times. <laughs> and then you begged your parents to buy it for your iPod. <laughs> I legit called my neighbor. I called my neighbor who was, like, two years older than me and was just like, Amanda, have you heard of this band? She's like, yeah, it's My Chemical Romance. Like, what? I was like, <laughs> I was just so, like, blown away. I was just like, who, who is this? I need to know everything. I need to know everything about him. And I think that's why, like, it's my favorite song and it's my whole aesthetic is because it just had, like, so much of, like, an immediate impact where it was just like, what is this? I need to know all about it. Oh, for sure. And, like, they had the same effect on me. Yeah. I heard, I'm not okay. I was oh. like, you know, <laughs> like 10. <laughs> Absolutely not okay. Yeah. I was like, I have a social studies project due tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, not okay. done anything. I'm not okay. But yeah, it just totally took over my life. And I think it was at that point too where like growing up, you always kind of listen to the music that those around you listen to. Yeah. It was one of the first bands that I found like was my own band. Yeah. Like. And that was such a game changer in itself. Cause yep. like, I grew up listening to a lot of like, The Cure and Metallica and Depeche Mode and like, all of that. I feel like I got lucky with my mom's taste in music. Yeah, I was gonna say, I grew up listening to the mamas and the papas in Rush, which are, they're fine, but like, The Cure's a little cooler than Rush. <laughs> yeah. I will say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Finding My Chem, I was like, oh, what? What? And then I did that thing that you do like, when you see a really good movie and the like lead actor or actress, you're like, oh, I'm now basing my entire personality off of that character. 
I still do it 15 years later. I didn't say I don't, but <laughs> that was like the first time that that really happened for me. See, mine was weird because like that was in seventh grade and then eighth grade I was like, like seen. You know what I mean? Oh, like yes. the flats, the neon shirts, the, the animal jeans. print. Yes. Um, but I was like softcore scene, like very forever the sickest kids scene. Hey, Brittany! <laughs> Why are you messing with me? I still like fucking love Forever the Sickest <laughs> yeah. Kids. So I was, I was in that same boat. I was like very like soft, <laughs> like scene. So and I think the best like way to encompass that was I loved Cobra Starship. Yeah. And like same. So 2006 was the first year that I went to. A concert like by myself uh -huh. and it was the 2006 Honda Civic Tour stop which had Cobra Starship stop it right fallout boy and plus 44 <laughs> and fucking Paul wall <laughs> it made no sense but yeah I love Cobra Starship same me and my best friend used to we loved like Cobra Starship boys like girls like hey Monday all the like oh, hey fun Monday. Dude, Hey Monday is so good. I saw Hey Monday with All Time Low and We The Kings. Uh, what a tour, let me tell ya. That was the Glamour Kills tour also. Uh, speaking of turning back time, fucking Glamour Kills. Speaking of Glamour Kills, we did not have a lot of money growing up and uh, at my graduation, like high school graduation, everyone wears like, you know, dresses and suits. I wore a Glamoured Kill shirt. Yes, you did. Underneath my gown. Yes, you did. And it said, like, fear without something, love without limits. Like... Love without limits. Yeah. Like, love basically the limits. emo live, live life, life love. love. <laughs> 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 no. Oh, yes. Oh my god. Why are your eyes so wrinkly? <laughs> <laughs> Not like that you're wrinkly. It's that like you're, how your eyes are built. No. <laughs> it's not anything I can do about It's that. a genetic thing. Is there a cream for that? Or? No, it's no. genetic, honey. Katie did refer to me as an older emo. Or elder. Or elder emo. That's so. what that's what the TikTok kids say. Because I get called out because I'm not an elder emo. What are you? I don't know. I'm like I'm a 2008 like scene. I'm like a raw XD emo. <laughs> that means I love you, you know? <laughs> and dinosaur. Oh my god. <laughs> um, but like, I get called out by like, slightly older emo kids, because they're like, well, I remember, like, when I think of emo, I think of this, 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 and this. Like, the people who were really mad that I didn't put brand new on like, my emo oh, yeah. chart. Fair. Uh, yeah. But I could have, I missed a lot of bands on there. I'm trying to think. Was was thrice ever like in your rotation? No. 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 Okay. Yeah. See. Yeah, I see what you mean. See. Yeah. yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Everything I put <laughs> on your lower lash line, or on your upper lash line, your eyes are just like together. <laughs> Which we're gonna put eyeliner down there, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm just trying to make it look nice in the meantime. Yeah, man. There's different breeds and different like subgenres. Cause then like I wasn't like a sleeping with sirens emo. But I worked at Hot Topic, where I helped all the sleeping with sirens <laughs> emos. You were an ant with a siren, <laughs> is what you're trying to say. <laughs> Come here, sweetie. All, Come this, here. all the sleeping with sirens is over here. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, I definitely was in, like, the generation before. Like, when I think of, like, my go-to emo rotation now, it's, like... Midwestern emo, like American football, and like some like kind of post hardcore stuff, like at the drive in, like we were at uh, Everyday yeah. Music today, and uh, like that's the stuff that really spoke to me. 2011 is when I graduated high school, and well, that's yeah, because I graduated in 2012, so we're not far off just like with our music, it's yeah, just different. enough off, yeah, yeah. And then, like, I found I found punk, like punk punk at 19. And that changed. Great, great time everything. to find punk. Going from like super conservative small town Arizona, like my whole high school had 400 kids, like bad time. Look up. Uh, to coming to Seattle. Well, that feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> it feels kind of nice, but <laughs> like finding punk. And that's when I started working with Zoomies too. And so, like, I was working now with the generation before me. And that's when I got like exposed to like 
the addicts and like the dead milkman and <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even been exposed to these. Next time you need to just talk me through how to do my own. Oh makeup. my god, yes. <laughs> I feel like I'm artistic, I think you, but I think like you would do fine. It, I think you would. Yeah. I have faith. Thank you. Yeah. See, mine was like three days grace, senses fail. Um, breaking fucking Benjamin. Breaking Benjamin. Yeah. Um, not like a ton of Breaking Benjamin, but uh, uh, Skillet. <laughs> De Skillet was definitely in there. <laughs> oh, we gotta stop for a second. Skillet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, comatose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking Thirty Seconds to Mars. Love Thirty Seconds to Mars. Dude, right? Yeah. Oh. Jared Leto is such an interesting person. That's to the me. right word. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Not good by any means but interesting close but yeah 30 seconds from mars and then like obviously my chem the used hawthorne heights uh silverstein silverstein that's yeah. a band i've heard in a while yeah no, they're one of those bands that like i always enjoyed but like i never really got into them because none of my friends were really into them but they used oh man i got deep into the used yeah open i want to know what like the most seen kid slash emo kid thing that you did. I'll go, yeah, I'll go first. Give me an example. You look like Dave Navarro. Thank you. <laughs> That's a huge compliment. You look so much like Dave Navarro. Oh, my wife is it? gonna lose it. You literally <laughs> look like Dave Navarro. You do not have what it takes to be a master. <laughs> Yeah. Dreams do come true. Wow, look at you. 14 year old Ryan. I know! It is okay. It is gonna be okay. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. <laughs> All right, so the most like scene or emo thing. So the most scene slash emo thing that I did was me and my boyfriend uh, that I met at the mall. <laughs> so <laughs> was, that should be enough. Was it at the Wetzel's Pretzels <laughs> or like, did your moms drop off at the same time? <laughs> Set the scene for us. Okay, well, um, so it was, my best friend at the time, it was her friend from high school, or no, sorry, middle school. Um, so he like met us at the mall, whatever. We started dating and then dating as much as you can when you're 14 and or you're technically not allowed to have a boyfriend. Our first kiss, so at my mall, there was an arcade in the bottom level called Bumpers. <laughs> and there was some bumping. <laughs> You'd be surprised what happens because the DDR games were in the back, so you know that's where all the fucking like goth kids, emo kids. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure, I, nothing. I didn't do anything back there, I, but they had party rooms, right? They had three different party rooms in bumpers, and there was one that was themed like a clown, which was that's fucking terrifying. terrifying. But our first kiss was in the basement of a mall in an arcade. Uh, and we would listen. Our, our song was Your Guardian Angel by the Red Jumpsuit oh. Apparatus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that came on at the Sadie Hawkins dance and everyone just... Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. See, like, I... I was a very much, like, lone wolf emo kid. Like, closet emo? Not a closet emo, just like... Okay, kind of a closet emo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't really, like, do a whole lot. Like, well, the one mall that we had was an hour away, oh, so yeah. I couldn't make out in the basement of an arcade in there. Like, <laughs> Come on. if I wanted to, there was a nice Saguaro cactus, like, across the street <laughs> that provided some good shade. <laughs> like... <laughs> you're, you're like... <laughs> Alright, I gotta okay, focus. Just look up. Putting eyeliner on men is always just... Okay, come on. <laughs> you were in dance, you should be used to this. <laughs> That's true. That's yeah, true. come on. <laughs> there we go, we did Slowly it. Slowly moving my head back. <laughs> I, I feel like my cat when you try to give it medicine, <laughs> and they do like that scoot, they're like... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Can I like hold my face Yeah. you do this? I think that would help. <laughs> I can't get over how much you look like Dave Navarro. <laughs> I love it. That's the next video is we're turning you into Dave Navarro. I'm gonna draw all of his tattoos on you. It's gonna be a good time. I definitely had the, like, I put a different a bunch of different colors in my hair. Mm -hmm. Like, I had the whole, like, paintball effect. Looked like someone shot me in the side. I had the paintball gun. Oh, and yeah, yeah, And it was, yeah, like, yeah. blonde. It was red. It was blue. Um, I did a lot of that for dance. But then I also did the whole, like... 
uh, I wore glasses that did not have prescriptions in them and yep. was like, hey, yeah, I don't wear glasses now. And shutter like, shades? To the shutter shades. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did not have a pair, but I borrowed plenty of pair. Uh -huh. uh, there, is a, there is a photo floating around of those um, with the iconic, like, being in dance, we do performances and, like, go on field trips. And, yep. like, they always ask you to dress up. Mm -hmm. My one go-to look was the the skinny jeans with like the Vans or the Converse, the skinny black tie yes! on the slim, the super, super slim, slim, slim fit. fit like white shirt. Oh, that was the look. That is this, the look. This is the look. This is the look. <laughs> Can I dress up as Oliver Peck? <laughs> Long <laughs> and a toothpick. <laughs> We're taking auditions for Nunez right now, so if you were someone you know would like to join us, applications. There's a, there's a link in the description, whichever direction it is. Is it down below? Yes. It's down below. <laughs> it's down oh, below. and what's that? Is is that the subscribe button? Uh, you haven't clicked that yet? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, what you doing? What you doing? Um, another thing, I, <laughs> me and my boyfriend in eighth grade, uh, before the mall, before the mall man, mall man was like, well, okay, no, mall man was late eighth grade. This is early eighth grade. Okay. Um, we took a picture kissing, sitting on his skateboard at an abandoned gas station. Oh yeah. man. And we're talking like hood up with like me doing this. You know, like holding. Did he have the bangs? Yeah, he had the bangs. Oh, he couldn't he see his the, eyes. He had the bangs in the backwards trucker hat. Like that was his vibe because he was like a nasty ass fucking like fourteen year old, <laughs> yeah, thirteen year old skater. <laughs> yeah. Did he have the like the monster necklace like of all of the different? No, like, mo he, he wasn't quite. That. No, he wasn't that. He did have backwards hat, but he was just like he was the one that showed me senses fail. Okay, it, that says a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like he loved like. Uh, fucking like can't be saved and all the like that whole album that whole album was his his vibe Yeah, I don't I don't know what it is about Chris Nunez. He's just he's got like hot Disappointed dad energy and like I'm kind of I don't even have daddy issues. I'm just kind of into it <laughs> I don't have a daddy and I'm into it. <laughs> it's dark and true speaking of uh, Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going with this? Speaking what are of we daddy saying? issues. No, speaking of Chris Nunez and Dave Navarro and tattoos, I did the Closures? thing that everyone does when they're 20 and they come into a little bit of excess money and I got myself a band tattoo. Um, mm -hmm. And I got myself another band tattoo. Mm -hmm. And I'm 28 and guess what? I'm getting another band tattoo. What are you going to get? Uh, those that don't know, I have a story so far tattoo on my thigh. And then our king, uh, <laughs> right here. <laughs> and then I got a little bit sadder um, and a little bit into modern baseball. And by that, keep your eyes open. A ton into modern baseball. So I've got a modern baseball tattoo on the back of my arm. And uh, in like a month, I'm getting my left thigh just blasted with an American traditional eagle. Uh, with some half heart lyrics. Oh, so, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm so The stoked. saddest boy. Oh. Open? I don't know if we've already talked about this today, because Avenged Sevenfold has come up a lot in conversation today. Yes. But I am planning on getting the death bat, death bat at some point. The I know you have, like, the shards of Narzal on your back, but, like, just jo oh, shoulders. Shoulder to shoulder, shoulder death bat? Why not? I thought about putting it on my stomach, but I don't know how like trashy I want to go with it, but I thought it could look cool. It's only trash if you make it trash. I, I mean, I'm here to justify it. I'm kind of the trash woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I I, just, I still want more my chem tattoos for sure. I just like I've kind of decided that like my right leg is just going to be like my fandom leg, like my mishmash patchwork fandom Ooh, like. Gimli. <laughs> what else do we need to do here? I don't know. <laughs> Are you living your revenge era fantasy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we need to do is flip your hair forward. So that I haven't gotten a haircut. <laughs> Eight months. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at you. Oh, man. <laughs> Can I drive up here every day and have yeah. my makeup for work? <laughs> Anyways, he works at Starbucks, so like, can you just imagine just you order your 
soy vanilla latte and a fucking cake pop and then this guy just <laughs> good luck out there the, the key to that like is you have to just go it I just <laughs> you know <laughs> Wheeling like a car that's spinning out. I think we're done. Are we done? I think we're done. <laughs> it's like it's like 10 p.m. on a Sunday. It's it's school tomorrow. I'm just not looking forward to it. Okay. Hmm. Saying sorry is playing in the background. Ohio is for lovers. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> the hair is everything. If you're giving Pete Wentz meets Dave Navarro. Hang on, Pete Wentz. <laughs> Pete Wentz and Dave Navarro had a baby, and then he went over to Gerard Way's makeup artist house. It was like, fuck it and up. was like, fuck it up. It, it, I think it's gonna be more just like disheveled. Yeah, it's but it's gotta be like, in front of your face, though. So. Get in here, yeah, yeah. You gotta like. Style me up. You gotta like do like. That situation. <gasps> there it is. There it is. You can find me on MySpace, myspace.com forward slash Ryan Romance. Of course it's Ryan Romance. Mine was uh, Katie Catastrophe. I am speechless. Yeah. Um, mostly is... because I can't find the words to say because there just aren't words. <laughs> Dear diary, mood. <laughs> Apathetic. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of thirsty e-girls in my comments. I'm gonna tell you right now. He is married. I did officiate their wedding. And you did beautifully. Thank you. It was, we got married during COVID um, and we had to pivot several times and like, it was a very small wedding. And very small, very like, cute. That I'm sure there was a lot of pressure, but, <laughs> but like you, you crushed it. It hey. was, it was, it was perfect. Thanks. So. And now you get to go home to your wife looking like this and she's gonna be so excited because his wife almost got a so long and good night tattoo, so. Across her chest. Yeah, like commitment! <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, friends, that's it. I turned them into an emo boy. I backed it back into one. Back into one. Even though you've never, I turned you into your true self because you never, you've never not been emo. No, no. no I've it's... never, never not been emo, but like, now the world knows it. Yeah. You know? So anyways, um, I will link our other video down below. It turned out very, very funny. So make sure you go watch <laughs> uh, Follow him on MySpace, uh, Share for Share, uh, Whore for Whore, PC for PC, all that. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>